Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my July wrap up week four. First, I read Lady Thief by A.C. Goggin. This is the second book in the Scarlet trilogy. This is a retelling of the Robin Hood folklore myth. I don't really know exactly what you would consider Robin Hood. It's about Will Scarlet, except Will Scarlet is actually a girl in disguise as a guy. This is the second book, like I said, so I don't want to give too much about what this one is. It gives I would spoil the first book but I really enjoyed this not as much as I enjoyed it the first book I gave this one four stars and I think I gave the first one like 4.5 or 5 but I still really enjoyed this I love Scarlet our main character she's super kick-ass and doesn't take shit from nobody I love her my only thing with Scarlet is she feels very young to me and I'm not really sure exactly what her age is but she feels young which is fine most of the time but she's in a relationship with somebody and when they're together I don't know I just don't really feel the connection because she feels really young to me and also I do kind of feel like the characters fall a little flat sometimes especially the side characters who aren't Scarlet um like we don't really know too much about them their personalities really but I still really enjoy the series overall and I'm really excited to pick up the third one which just came out I think in May or June. Next was Captive Prince by C.S. The Cat. This is a, I don't know, romance erotica. I don't really know what to label this book, just that it's very adult, very explicit content, violence, sex content especially. This is about a guy named Damon and he is the rightful heir to his kingdom that I can't pronounce his name. He's a warrior. Um, but then his half-brother takes over the throne and sells Damon off to their enemy kingdom as a pleasure slave to that prince. And yeah, like I said, this is very much adult explicit content, um, a lot of rape and non-consensual sex and that sort. Very, very messed up world and society. So if you are not very fond of that kind of stuff, I would not recommend this book. But I personally loved this book. I gave it a five stars. I know eventually, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a romance between Damon and the Prince Laurent, Laurent, I don't know how to pronounce his name, that he was sold off to. That hasn't happened yet, which makes me really happy because if it had actually developed feelings for each other romance within this book, it would have been super problematic, more problematic than everything else is. And I would have been okay with this, but it looks like this is going to take its time with that. I don't know. I really like this really messed up but super entertaining and it's really good I really want the second one the next two books are books I read for the TBR takedown which is still going on this just happened to come in the middle of that readathon and also I'm kind of trying to participate in the seven and seven readathon which is read seven books in a week and so the last book is for that readathon first is unteachable by Leah Rader this is the book I read for the TBR takedown for the book for my most recent book haul. This is new adult and it covers a student teacher relationship. This is about a girl, Maisie. She meets this guy. They have a night together. They have this connection and then she walks in first day of school to her film class and the guy happens to be her teacher. I picked this up because I know the author's second book, Black Iris, is a queer book and I really wanted to read that book but this just happened to be the book they had at Barnes Noble when I went to go buy Captive Prince. I saw this on the shelf right next to it so I just picked it up um, and I wasn't the biggest fan of this. I just really didn't feel connection to the two characters and their romance and it's not even because it's a student teacher relationship which was obviously problematic and wrong but they were supposed to be like this amazing and great love and they had this instant connection and I just didn't believe it. I'm really picky about contemporary and just romance reads. I don't really like them very often so I don't know a lot of times it just felt like a very stereotypical kind of corny temporary romance to me with some student teacher relationship going on um so yeah wasn't a huge fan I did like that our main character Maisie had a lot of character growth because the beginning of the book I was really frustrated I didn't like her at all she was super kind of high and mighty and I'm so much more mature and adult than all these other kids in my class and I don't wear makeup like all the other girls and I was just like stop but she does develop a lot throughout the book although a lot of it she says she like grows up so much or just all this growth is because of this guy and I didn't believe it but yeah I don't know I'm still gonna pick up her other books but this one just wasn't for me and I gave it a two stars. Lastly I finished Mercy by Jodi Pico. I just finished this today which is Tuesday who knows when this video is going up. I read this for the TBR take, take down for a book that's been on my shelf for a year or the longest that's been on my shelf since high school so it was a time to read this. This one of Jodi Pico's earlier books or older books I don't know how early it was in her career and I've always wanted to read it, like, because I love Jodi Pico. Um, this is about several people because all of her books are always from multiple points of view. There's Jamie, who has just murdered his terminally ill wife who had cancer on her request. Um, 
guy named Cameron, who is the chief of police and also Jamie's cousin, who makes the arrest of Jamie, um, Cameron's wife, and just a bunch of whole other characters. I used to love Jodie Pico, like all throughout high school and even the first couple years of college, I loved her. I devoured her so many of her books. I only have a few that I haven't read of hers. And I'm finding now that I don't like them as much or I just can't get into them anymore. It's like I said, they're always about multiple characters and they're always so much about their backstory and history that doesn't always really feel relevant to the plot at hand. And this one, I don't know, I didn't really care about any of the characters. There was um, cheating in this book and I really dislike cheating a lot. It really bugs me and also the cheating was like insta-love and I was like why? Why? Like why do you have this connection? There is no connection between you two. Yeah so this took me a while to get into and I was really considering DNFing it but I just wanted to get it off of my TBR pile and so I pushed through and I started to like it more in the middle-ish area and then I went to bed last night when I only had like 80 pages left and then it was really a struggle to finish those last 80 pages. I should have just finished them last night. But yeah, I gave this two stars. I don't know. I think I've just lost a lot of fondness that I had for Chody Pico books. Let me know what you guys are reading. Are you taking part in the TBR takedown and how's that going for you? I'll have the rest of that wrap up for this readathon in my next wrap up for July, which should be my last wrap up for July. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye!